to dissect fashion bell curve. Hello, throw this in the as if pile. I should not even be operating heavy machinery on this much diet soda. Cushions on our entire year. <gasps> I got it. We'll show up tomorrow in off the rack smocks from the Kathy Lee collection. Oh, wows. Oops, call me Cutso. In 10 years, we'll be 27. Almost old enough to play high school kids on TV. Well, you always remember where the car is parked at the moment. You apply sunscreen evenly. I've never seen a VCR clock that you can't sell my speed dial. By then, I'll have a separate phone line just for you. We saw these same candles on Melrose for $40. Do you remember? Cher? If she wasn't in such a hurry to get out of the neighborhood, she wouldn't have sideswiped that Virgin Mary lawn ornament. As you doubtless would have. Yeah, you obviously know as little about men as you do about waxing because he's dangerous. He sings in a club with friends. I could slap the Mac off those sealed lips of yours. My dad must have been looking for periodontal patients on the internet again. He says they have a bleeding gums chat room. Ugh. Cher, you know I've had trouble finding common ground with Murray's mom. Last night, she invited me to spend the weekend with Murray and his family at Desert Springs Spa. Share, give it up. The girl has perma PMS. I need to just go over there and uh, hello. Can we just discuss the psychotic ensemble you're wearing today? I just need a hard right hook. <laughs> Why is it every time aliens impregnate an earthling is such a thing as taking a holiday way too seriously? Oh yeah, keep it up, you're gonna lose the other eye. When you win, you denounce the system, renounce the crown, and declare that every student is a homecoming king or queen. I am the most petite. That we are all homecoming kings and queens. I renounce the crown. Thanks, Rex. Please. He knows. He pops one tart, he's t Hate this. I would much rather be watching a Mad About You marathon. It's your teacher's eyebrows off? Nearly singed. But trust me, Dad, they needed trimming. The man was becoming a monobrow, a bizarre mix between Saddam Hussein and Brooke Shields. It was extremely distracting. <laughs> Even from this angle? I mean, standing up? Nip it in the bud and nip it now. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything, but since you mentioned it... Relax, it's behind you now. Tell me that's the static guard speaking. Share a job? That is so drastic. There must be other options. Okay, that's a start. Plus, you're a licensed driver. Thing slash dining slash dating vector. Which means, share it, brace yourself. Okay, no problem. We have choice number two, grunge. Lots of flannel, stained corduroys, old, worn-out Doc Martens. It's called dressing like a boy. I never got that one. Blame and origin, see ya. Mm -hmm. You want a moist toilet? Realized. Eh, he won't miss one more beef rocket. We have toys for tots flyers to hand out. <laughs> Oy vey. I'm sure it was, um, oh, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I do feel 10 pounds lighter. Honesty. Ben senior year at Maison Dion. Cher, Mel is an adult. He'll be fine without you. But me, I'd be a wreck. We've been planning this since preschool. Senior year without Cher would be like speed two without Keanu. A long, boring suck fest. And Dion. I'd like to take advantage. OK, Murray, study. Buy enough generic items so that the cashier and those in the immediate area don't notice <sighs> the potentially ticklish item. If you need more information about teen pregnancy, talk to your parents, a teacher, or any adult you can trust. Will everybody please chill? For the same reason that you would never wreck your precious Air Jordans playing basketball. I'm chopped over there. <laughs> Get the freeze frame ready. But most importantly, we are not, I repeat, not going to obsess about David. Got it? Hello? What are you wearing right now? Oh, I'm wearing my pink Lycra clingy and my jaunty
still roses and perfume from To meet your sensual friend, enter your credit card number. <gasps> No. Activity have you found that's so great? Charity work. No, it's a complete non-issue. Who could I possibly date around to? I know, that's why I'm gonna be frat guys. This pig just used my purse as a Gucci vomit bag and they're gonna sacrifice a bird.